talk about the war in Iraq as if it's not going on. But the Iraq, in Iraq, the war is still there. There still is an occupation of Iraq. Our military bases are still there. Blackwater and other private mercenaries are still there in Iraq. Still stationed on bases in Iraq. Their natural resources are being privatized by multinational corporations such as Halliburton, KBR, Bechtel. Nine years ago today, we started an illegal invasion under the basis of weapons of mass destruction. Those weapons of mass destruction posed no threat to us, nor were they ever caught. entire time he was president. So sadly, it's not just nine years in Iraq. It's more closer to over 20 years that we have been bombing the nation of Iraq, killing civilians. We left cluster bombs all over Iraq. We used armor-piercing bullets made from depleted uranium. This depleted uranium is affecting veterans, it's affecting the people of Iraq, it's causing birth defects in not just the people of Iraq, but veterans of this new Gulf War. We're not doing enough to take care of our veterans. Same as during Vietnam. Our government is not doing enough to take care of the veterans. They're dealing from medical injuries, they're dealing from emotional injuries. They're dealing from post-traumatic stress disorder. Our veterans need help. What we've done to them is terrible. We've created a new generation of veterans suffering. We have to support the people of Iraq. We still have to support our troops, support their families. We have to make sure that we don't go to war with Iran because that will be just as bad as this one, if not worse. And it's time we leave Afghanistan. Osama bin Laden is dead. There is no purpose in being in Afghanistan. The Russians could not beat Afghanistan. Genghis Khan could not beat Afghanistan. Or the British or the Romans, or the Greeks. What are we doing in Afghanistan? Why has the heroin supply from Afghanistan tripled since our invasion in Afghanistan? There's a lot of corruption going on, and there's a lot of people that should be in jail for what has happened. Now I'm just going to ask you to please clap your hands if you think it's right to jail George W. Bush and Dick Cheney for the crimes of Iraq. <laughs> Believe in it, people. It's possible. These men broke the law, and they deserve to be in jail for what they did. Thank you.